Hey guys, um, just doing another video, uh, an unboxing video of some some more stuff from Space Wolves Army uh, that I picked up, and I know this is kind of backwards, uh, move backwards stepping compared to what I suggested in some of my other videos. You know, I actually suggest that you start with something like this if you're, you know, if you don't. You know, you're not sure you're going to get in 40K or something like that. Um, you're not too sure. This is a good way to start without throwing too much money out the window. Uh, or, you know, not really throwing out the window, but you know what I mean. Too much of a heavy investment. So I picked up the uh, Start Collecting Warhammer 40K Start Collecting Space Wolves uh, starter set. You know, I picked it up just to add some more stuff to my son's Space Wolf Army. Uh, I got it on... Uh, I got it off of eBay from a shop out in New York, I think, or something like that. And it's interesting because <clears throat> if you look, the actual store price tag is $85, which is what the retail, suggested retail price for Games Workshop starter sets are. Uh, it's $85. But I actually paid $72 plus free shipping. So... You know, you know, I'm not taking away from anything from shops. I actually buy stuff from local shops as well. Uh, but sometimes, you know, if you're on a budget, you, you got to shop smart. You know, look for the deals online. Look for who has the best pricing, who's got free shipping. Um, I notice now that Illinois actually has uh, eBay tax. You know, they're charging tax for stuff on eBay from Illinois. So I don't. No offense, guys, but I don't buy anything from shops in Illinois anymore online. I just, I'll, if I'm going to get charged tax, I'll just go to the store and get it myself. It's That's the bottom line. You know, um, that being said, I, I, I got it from New York. Uh, like I said, it was uh, 72 bucks shipped, which is not bad. Um, got some of the Grey Hunters there, and unfortunately... I did not know that these were Grey Hunters only in this box, and I thought you could make Blood Claws as well, um, which is what I really wanted for the army, because I have a lot of in, uh, Primaris Marines. I got Intercessors, you know, Hellblasters and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but it is what it is. You know, most of the, his army consists of uh, Primaris Marines because I got the Dark Imperium box set. And he came with a whole bunch of Primaris Marines to start off with. And initially I was going to sell them off just to kind of make up for the the Dark Imperium set. But my son liked the way they looked. I actually loved the way the Primaris Marines looked. So we wound up staying with them. And he wound up choosing the Space Wolf color scheme. Um, he just completely chose it based off color. And I was like, okay, cool. There's a couple things in the Space Wolves armies that I like. So it'll be easy to work with. You know, you get the Thunder Wolf cavalry. You know, you get the HQ choice. And a troop choice. So for this, if you wanted to play Warhammer 40k open play or <clears throat> um, PowerPoints, you could play with this box set alone. Um, if you want to play match play, you would need one more s troop selection. Uh, or, I mean, if you, you're allowed to, I'm not exactly sure. But actually, no, I actually think there's 10 men in here. So you could actually split this into two 10-man squads, and you'll have a fieldable force here. So my mistake, you can actually field this force. Um, But generally, I tell people start with this, uh, and then work your build your army around that. You know what you want to do. Um, recently, I came under the understanding that if you're going to pick an army, a lot of people say if you're going to pick an army for its look, which is why we pick our armies, right? Primarily, you know, you you look at the army, you say, oh, that, those guys look cool. You read some stuff about them. You look online, you say, oh, those guys are pretty cool. I like those guys. So appearance-wise, is why you generally pick your stuff. You know get the stuff that the army has exclusively in it right like so <clears throat> space wolves are the only ones that have thunder wolf cavalry so it's probably a good idea to get that for your army they may not be the greatest unit they're actually better in eighth edition now than they were but it's a unique piece for that army which identifies that army outside of just guys colored that way which is why i actually bought this box set is because i wanted you know i have primarily primary space marines so I wanted some actual Space Wolf units in the army to, you know, so that people know, okay, it's actually a Space Wolf army. It's not just a, a Primaris army painted in the Space Wolf colors. 
So plus, I really like the flyers from the Space Wolf Army. We're going to get to this unboxing real quick. I'm going to get all this stuff out here. And then we'll get into zooming in here. So, of course, you've got your bases, 32 mil bases, which is nice. Thunderwolf Cavalry bases, your special character base, Space Wolf stickers, or decals, decals, whatever you guys, whichever, whatever you guys call them from where you are. And these actually are pretty nice. Sorry, that's actually the way they're supposed to go. These these Ragnar Blackmane uh, company icons are way nicer than they used to be, and I collected space was a long time ago and then sold them out but they're really really nice you've got your that's a third base there you got your instructions huh. instructions for each unit that's some pretty cool artwork there Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a special character. And then his stats. Wow. Okay. The Wolf Lord. And then you've got the Grey Hunters. Same thing. These are all the black and white instructions, but that's all right. I mean, they're not. A lot of these models are more like, you know, plug and play. And then you build your torsos and your heads, and then you figure out what weapons you want, where you want to put them, how you want to pose your guys. And your Thunderwolf. Thunderwolf Cavalry. Same thing, black and white. I like that Frost Axe. I wasn't too sure about the Thunderwolves at first. I'm really not too keen on the way the models look. But they're growing on me, and I've been reading a lot of Space Wolf lore, which really helps you guys get into the the atmosphere of the game and the feel for the models and the characters in the game. So here's the sprue for the commander or Space Wolf Lord. It's not bad. It's got a lot of cool parts. Um, I don't like the helmet. I'm not a fan of that type of helmet. I'm not sure what mark it is. Oh wait. He actually gets... Huh. There's actually multiple helmets there so I stand corrected now, this might just be a special character sprue not necessarily for the commander there's multiple shoulder pads there there's a cape and his banner special legs and torso parts so that might be a special character sprue don't don't quote me on that or a, a special uh, upgrade sprue for the space wolves but it looks as though everything on here yeah these are all space wolf parts so you've got heads torsos decorated torsos decorated legs decorated weapons which is really cool so they're not just oh uh, yeah special space wolf torso there they're not just you know uh, marines with little add-on bits these are actually sculpted space wolf models So here's a repeat sprue, same sprue, twice is it? Yeah, so you get two thunder hammers, that's cool. You won't use two thunder hammers, but it's cool. It's for the gray hunters. It looks like one, two, three, four legs on each sprue. Is that right? Nope. One, two, four. Five. five on each sprue, I apologize. So yeah, it's a 10-man squad. Five guys on each sprue. Not bad, not bad. And here it looks like we have Thunderwolf Cavalry sprue. Not sure 
if that helps with the light, I apologize. That's your pretty cool sprue. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's big. The wolf is big. I mean, yes, of course, it would have to be for a space marine to be riding on it, but still, it's super big. And then you've got the final two sprues. Um, so you got three Thunderwolf sprues all together. And you've got all your weapon options, your chain swords, your <laughs> thunder hammer, it looks like. It's a funny looking thunder hammer. Oh, the frost axe. I really like this. Is the love that frost axe. It's so cool. I just like that they added that to the Space Wolf lineup. Like before, well, like I said, originally it was like Space Marine weapons. Whatever the tactical Space Marine guys got, that's what the Space Wolves got. But this is really cool because everything is very themed towards the army, and I love those axes. They're just so cool looking. A very cool addition to the, the theme of the army, you know. There's some uh, storm shields there, like the smaller storm shields. Really cool Space Wolf shoulder pads and torsos. Again, this is very cool because it's very space wolfy parts you know it's not just you know let's slap some stuff on some marines and call them like the primaris marines we have uh since they came from the dark imperium set they're pretty much like you know they're gonna be marines painted to look like space wolves i did my best to take some bits from here and there different kits to put on some of the marines to kind of give them a little bit of spit like the wolf tails and stuff like that but it really it's not it's not a lot compared to like what these kits actually come with all the decorations and all the cool iconography already molded onto the models which <clears throat> originally when i first started playing this game you know you had to put stickers on or paint everything on yourself it was only special characters that had iconography on them primarily but generally everybody else you just painted the stuff on but it's really cool that they started changing GW started changing that formula and like actually making models with you know the uh, the proper iconography for each army so you've got space wolves blood angels dark angels ultramarines you know th th there's that's four different units of marines that you could have completely you know for your army depending on what you know what you choose that's really cool though i mean you can also have the cookie cutter marines you know the, the vanilla marines where you can make them your own chapter and stuff like that too but yeah that's the start collecting space wolves uh box set some people say you should get two of these but again i don't want another squad of gray hunters i would really like a squad of blood claws so knowing that i have gray hunters maybe i'll get swift claws or sky claws or something because i don't have any jump pack guys yeah maybe sky claws i don't know let me know in the comments below what you guys think um maybe i should progress i don't know i've I got a pretty big list right now with the primary all the primary stuff the tanks and the vehicles and stuff that i have so far i'm only listen, looking to just kind of fill in a little bit of gap not too much i'm going to pick up some fenrusian wolves hopefully i'll do a, a unboxing of that soon I also picked up some special characters I'll be doing the unboxings of um, real soon. But uh, there you go. Thank you for watching.